Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. Here's your daily technical analysis of energy futures. I'll start with ICE Brent crude oil futures. Well, it's day two yesterday in a two-day bearish separating lines pattern. This is a bearish continuation pattern. Now, prices dropped down and closed below the significant 61.8% Fibonacci line of the 2014-2016 move at 81.86. The congestion at 8086 and even below the rising middle time currently at 8063 of the March to August bullish Andrews pitchfork. However, though the market pierced the recent partner to that bullish Andrews pitchfork, the rising short medium moving average, that's currently at 8045, it did not manage to close below it, instead choosing to close right on it. It was nevertheless a significant move lower, with the first close below the middle time since mid to late September. Overall, the action since early October mm, now has significant elements of a topping action, mainly a possible he small head and shoulders top pattern. And yes, there was a break below the neckline, currently at 8070. So far today, a lower open and a further move down, as the start of a possible follow on lower to the recent bearish separating lines pattern. However, the dip has been limited and prices have now pulled back up without moving down to test the next support at 8086 and looking a bit like an indecisive doji cross right now ice gas oil an immediate countering bearish double yesterday to the previous sessions bullish above the stomach pattern prices once again punched down through the rising short medium moving average currently at 688 and a half but ended up with a higher low and higher close than the attempt two days ago so you can see it's not that impressive and with it being an immediate countering move adding some spice with interday indecision if you like interestingly it was the same support below at the 680 even level that again halted the decline much as it did back in early October and two days ago overall we are still firmly in between the upper time currently at 729 and a quarter and the middle time currently 668 and a quarter of the rising if broken March to August bullish Andrews pitchfork Below the rising short medium moving average, we have the September 2019 high at 673 and three quarters, and the important 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 669 and three quarters, before looking at the middle time of this bullish Andrews pitchfork. Now, one other feature which has developed. Last time I spoke about the action over October and November starting to look like a possible double top, even Adam type. Well, after looking at Brent, I am my, now minded to also look at that action as a possible high sloping up and right head and shoulders top type pattern. The market is now well below any neckline which to be honest is currently at 704 even though there has been a limited uh, exploitation lower of such a pattern. Now so far today a lower open below the short medium moving average the first time this has happened since late August and a follow-on dip towards the September 2019 high at 673 and three quarters before faltering and uh, before testing it even and moving back up such that today at this time there may be a candidate to a possible another indecisive doji cross thank you for listening this short version broadcast gives you essential market patterns and consequences please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast copyright Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited and here comes the final bit